Young Turks, about to break a story here. Sarah Palin coming out and uh, totally screwing up the whole Harry Potter controversy. I don't think there's much of a controversy. It's a minor thing, but uh, of course, as usual, Palin messes it up. Uh, let's listen to her talking to Greta Van Susteren here about uh, banning books in Wasilla. And then two things that, again, so easily could have been corrected about uh, my uh, supposed attempts to censor and ban books when I was the mayor of Wasilla. And one of the examples that they gave was uh, that the media was just sure that one of the books I tried to ban was Harry Potter. Of course, it hadn't even been written when I was the mayor of Wasilla. So it hadn't even been written when I was the mayor of Wasilla. I watched that and I thought, hmm, that doesn't sound right. Somebody should investigate that. And I was like, hey, I got an idea. Why don't I investigate it? So I went to my trusty source. Uh, I, I called all my sources in D.C. They referred me to Wikipedia. And there we find out obvious facts, such as she was the mayor of Wasilla between 1996 and 2002. So when was Harry Potter written and released? Yeah, look at this. First Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, released in the United States of America September 1st, 1998. That would seem to fall between 96 and 2002, wouldn't it? Well, perhaps she was referring to another book. So let's go to Harry Potter's uh, second book, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, released in June 2nd, 1999. That would also seem to fall within that time period. Well, let's go to the third book, see what happens. You see a pattern here? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, released in the U.S. on September 8th of 1999. Book number four, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, released in the United States on July 8th of 2000. Four Harry Potter books written and released within 1996 to 2002 when Sarah Palin was the mayor of Wasilla. You know, if the media would just check with me, I could give them the facts. If you're going to give them facts like this, it's why the media doesn't check with you. It's not a big deal. But you got to have your stuff straight if you're going to go on national TV and tell us, oh, no, it wasn't even written. And it's not like people don't know when the Harry Potter books weren't written. They're kind of a big deal. Just check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's all we're asking. Okay.